Okay, Vanessa. Yeah. It's another Saturday afternoon and you're at it again. Well, we have guests here. Yeah. So tomorrow morning we make apricot dumplings and strawberry yeah. dumplings. And we need a special dough for that. Okay. And very famous, it's very famous in Austria, these apricot dumplings. Um, we need a cottage cheese dough. I make it with cottage cheese. Here in Europe you make it with Topfen or Kark. As yeah. it is in Germany, which is kind of a baking cheese. Right. You could also use ricotta, but it's yeah. very expensive. So I would suggest mm -hmm. to stay with the cottage, cottage cheese. cheese okay. okay. So what I have here first is about oh, it's about a half a cup of butter, melted butter. Yeah. Put it into my um, into my food processor. I have a duck egg here, it's a little bigger, maybe you want to, I just because I happen to have it, otherwise mm. use two chicken eggs, put okay. it in here, it has very large yolk, yep. and then I washed some um, lemon and orange, yep. put the rind in of, you wash those off? Yeah, they need to be washed, and you use organic. Mm -hmm. I usually wash them in a solution of hydrogen peroxide and water, like okay. water and a few, yeah. a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm. you know? And a little bit of this. So what do you do, about a half of one or a quarter? Yeah, about a half. And you half. use a, a rasp from a kitchen store? Or? sell them in kitchen stores now, we used yeah. to get them in hardware stores before okay. somebody figured it out and yeah. you know. So, you this is enough. Have a look. So that's the mm -hmm. egg. Yeah. The egg. And I put it about a butter. half, about five hundred grams or more. It's not that um, particular. But I don't want to make a full one because this one lasts for quite... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a full one. Just hold on for one second. Mm -hmm. Because I just remember we have a special guest coming tomorrow and yeah. she absolutely adores these dumplings. Okay. So we better have enough dough on hand. This way. Okay, now, I make a smooth dough. Yeah. So you have no flour in there yet? No. Okay. No. This is just the Just liquid. your wet, wet ingredient. Yeah, wet ingredient for this one. So this is good enough. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here I have some flour, but yeah. a couple of cups of flour. Right. And then we'll see how much we need after. I'll show you. Here again, the ingredients are very, very simple. Yeah. But what you need to know are is the the method. You know how to make it. Yeah. And that's quite important. And as I'm using my hands anyway, I just use my gloved hands here. Yeah. I like to use gloves for this because all this. Here it is. See? You just hand mix it? Yeah. It has to be hand mixed. No, you don't want, uh, you, you can't do that with the, um, uh, with the food processor because if you use a food processor, the, the flour, the gluten comes out too much and it, it becomes a, a glue. Oh, so okay. you need to mix it by hand. Okay. It's not always only the ingredients, it's the method of how you make it, right? right yeah. Mm -hmm. And this here as well. And as you realize, there's no sugar in it because we serve it after with um, orange sauce and their sweet apricots and they're filled with marzipan. So there's yeah. a lot of sweetness there. If you okay. want to just step back for one sec, I need more flour. Out of mine. I have it in say, plastic bags. It's a little more. So, <laughs> what I do now, once I'm at this stage here, I 
turn it out. Could you use a whisk or something? No, the no, whisk would absolutely not work because the whisk whisks only works on liquids only. Mm -hmm. It it would you know it doesn't mm -hmm. have the strengths. Yeah. Uh, you could steer it with a wooden spoon or with a um, um, spatula. Yeah. But mostly you need to get a feel. Get a need. Yeah. Need a, yeah. You need to get a need. For need. It? Yeah. <laughs> so and this is enough. <laughs> see, this is enough. And the reason this is enough because mm -hmm. the flour will yeah. soak itself up oh, with yeah. the. You, you don't want to have it any yeah. anymore. Okay? okay. Because you can always add more flour in the morning when yeah. you roll it out. Yeah. Because now I make two. Yeah. Two. Pouches. Yeah, two little balls. balls of it. Wrap each ball in plastic wrap okay. and set it in the refrigerator until right. tomorrow. Yeah. It needs to rest okay. for a night, okay. overnight, or at least right. two hours. Okay? okay? Sounds good. Thank you so much. So tomorrow morning we'll make the dumplings. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we're back in the dumpling wars here. Yes, we are. Here yeah. we have the dough. Yeah. And you can see it's not as um, soft as it was yesterday. Okay. See, because yeah. the flour has already, yeah. you know, uh, soaked up, uh, soaked itself up. It has married the, the ingredients much better. Right. So what we have here for apricot dumplings, yeah. a homemade marzipan, yeah. which will be the subject of another cooking class one yeah. day. Yeah. Very simple to make. Yeah. So I take a little bit of this, yeah. and it keeps for a long time marzipan, so yeah. I always make quite a bit, so I have it <laughs> on hand for different things, okay, yeah. I just want to show you this quick, yeah. and we take part of this, I just go like this, mm -hmm. turn it around, make sure it's not sticky, yeah. take an apricot, um, and you're trying not to have too much dough, right? It, yeah. But it should engulf the apricot and mm -hmm. there should be no holes anywhere. Okay. So that's how you do. You kind of pull it to one side, mm -hmm. right? I'll show you again. And mm -hmm. you can use the leftover, just incorporate it into the next one. This is fantastic dough. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of it is, if it's too sticky, you just spread out some flour yeah. and just um, roll, it around. roll it around in the flour, yeah. right? So, yeah. go like this. I pinch it closed, yeah. okay? Yeah. And you see here, yeah. mm -hmm. we have a little leftover dough. So, I take my pastry cutter yeah. and go like this. Oops. There's a little open, so but it, it's good it happened because yeah. see I can just squeeze a little dough to that part. Okay. Just move it over and do it. So I do another one, third one. Yeah. And then it goes into a pot of boiling water. Right. And there's just a little pinch of salt added to it. Okay. Yeah. And here too. See, it's a little sticky, so I add a little more flour to this. Fantastic. <coughs> Check this here too, yeah. make sure all the things are closed. So here we have our apricot dumpling. And if you want to hold on for a second here, mm -hmm. um, I'll get strawberries, which we also have. strawberries and I like to take the bigger ones mm -hmm. so we can do smaller strawberry dumplings and strawberry uh, I don't put any other filling in just the strawberry because at the end as you see they will be served with an orange sauce on top okay. caramelized orange sauce which adds a lot of sweetness to it. Okay, see they're a little smaller. Nice. Right? Okay. Hey, thanks. We'll Thank see you. the boiling phase, I guess, soon. Yes, the water. I'll drop them in. And 
And that water's already boiling. It's here. boiling yeah. with a little bit of salt in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you can see, the bigger ones are apricots, and we'll turn it up a little. Mm -hmm. Now, what you have to watch out for is that they don't stick on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So you want to loosen them, you can do that in two different ways. You can move the pot like this, mm -hmm. or you can just go under it with a spatula. Yeah. And these ones are clear, they won't okay. stick anymore. Right. So now we wait until they boil. Right. And when they boil and come up, when they yeah. swim up, okay? Yeah. Then we'll take a cup of ice cold water, put it on top. Yeah. Turn the heat totally down, like yeah. almost to too low. Put a lid on it and let them steam for seven minutes. Okay. And then they're done. Okay. Okay. These here are boiling and they're all up. Ice cold water. That means you're scaring them in German. Maybe we, you know, scaring them like the Shrek. You know, put the lid on and that makes them tight, the cold water. Okay. Seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah, and then we can lift them up with a slotted spoon. So here we have our dumplings. And uh, here we have a mixture of butter and gingerbread crumbs. But you can also use cookie crumbs. Um, we always make crumbs out, out of the leftover gingerbread and cakes. And the dumplings go right in here. And gently they get coated like this, okay? This is orange sauce. Yeah, orange sauce, caramel sauce. And real whipped cream on top. Very oh, nice. Beautiful. And just for a little touch, some Belgium chocolate flakes mm -hmm. shaved. Here it is. Look beautiful. Thank you. Okay. This must be your signature, the Belgian chocolate on there. Yeah. Even the orange sauce is not done in Austria. No, that's no. just you. Yeah. It's just more 